Alright, this is Von Lagaya, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. This is uh, Scenario B, we're playing as Claire, and, um, yeah, let's continue on. So we've just found the spade key. I'll check that, just to uh, show you that, just to change the name to spade key. It's a lot more, um, when you use the key, it's how, like, It'll tell you what you use, so you know which key you're throwing away, rather than it, rather than it just saying precinct key, like I explained in the last uh, scenario. So anyway, we're gonna head up here and come in through this door again. And uh, yeah. These guys come in here and infest this hallway because the shutters weren't closed. And even if they were, where I had used the cord last uh, in the other scenario would would have failed anyway, I think. And the zombies would get in no matter what. Um, there's still a red herb here. Because apparently it doesn't matter that Leon would have come through here. Or, or if Claire came through here first, the red herb would still be there for some reason. So we're going to head it this way again, and break through the floor. Do this puzzle. Again, these two on the left side just go to the right ones, each. This slides down, and we find something different here. What we find is the Serpent Stone. We're gonna need that later, obviously. Uh, I should have put my ink ribbons away. Um, I'll go do that. I'll go do that now. Since there is a uh, a room down here with a storage box in it, rather than going really, really far. You know what, I'll just, I won't even bother going downstairs. It's going to save me some time not going through a million doors. So I'll come over here and do it instead. Okay, so we'll put the Serpent Stone in and the Ink Ribbons. I'll keep the grenade launcher, just because it's like the shotgun for Claire, and I always carry two weapons around. So I'll load in these grenades, and, uh... Yeah, that's all we need to keep here. Um, okay. So, we're gonna head back. The acid rounds are good against certain enemies. Enemies have weaknesses to certain types of weapons. So, um... The acid rounds are actually really good against Mr. X, that huge tyrant we fought last time. So I'm going to probably try and save those for him. I'm not going to use the uh, grenade launcher on zombies. Well, the acid rounds on zombies unless I need to. But uh, if I can avoid it, I will. Now, as you can see, in our items, Claire has a lockpick. That means we don't need small keys to open these dressers, these drawers here. We found some uh, pistol rounds inside. There are a lot of zombies here, but we can get around them, so we will. And we open this door. Actually, this door doesn't need to be unlocked. Strangely. I guess the doors that you use the keys on are different in this one as well. We'll come in this room. The star's office. good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Okay, so we got Chris's diary. We don't need to read through it, so I'm just going to, because we've already done that in the other one as well, so I'm just going to skip right through it. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. 
Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Okay, so... This is a familiar scene. But instead of... Claire going over there, we're controlling her this time. And inside this locker we find the bow gun. It's sort of like Claire's shotgun, I guess. Even though I attributed the grenade launcher to the shotgun. But they're both kind of like it. Um, here we find the diamond key. And uh, there's going to be some ammo behind these desks again. I think. It was for Leon anyway. Um, hmm. Whoops. I guess it's not for Claire. What about the desk? There's nothing on there either. Hmm. Things are a little different. Okay, so now that we got the key and the stuff, we'll leave. Oh, what's this? I forgot about that, actually. Another file. We'll check it. Federal Police Department Infer Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your, re your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Incorporated. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We are continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Ra Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab along with several other incidents which in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has b had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of his charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United, United States Federal Police Department. Rape, huh? More about this Irons guy. Every time we hear about him, it's always bad stuff, so I'm assuming this guy is a freak. Okay, there's a zombie here. Oh, a little girl. Get past this stupid, ugly freak. And into this room we go to chase a little girl. These zombies are up now. I might. Oh wait, I got the bowgun. I got. I just remembered that. Uh. It's nice that we found the bowgun in there. We can just deal with all these stupid zombies all at once. Oh crap! I missed. Of course I miss, right? Just things can't go perfect. So anyway. Wow. Okay, he died really quick. Um. The door is nailed shut. It doesn't look like I can pass through here. But there's a hole in the bottom, which is actually small enough for a little girl to fit through. Anyway, we'll head back and go into this room, deal with that s stupid zombie. If he's in the way, of course, unless we can avoid him. No, he's in the way. So kill him. Bye-bye. And as we head out into this next room, I'm going to end the episode here. So yeah, I'm going to... Wait. Looks like Claire does need to use the blue, the red jewels. Oh well. I'm going to end the episode right here, so um, I will see you all in episode uh, 4. Or, wait. Th actually, this is episode 4. Episode 5, I mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.